Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you have a Trustmaster wheel, I'm sure a lot of you, just like me, have experienced a lost intention in your pedals. And the reason is simple. The spring that are supposed to hold the tension are so cheap, they are breaking apart. I could have messaged Trustmaster again and try to have new springs for my pedal, but like the tax switch from the shifters on my F1 add-on, uh, as soon as you're out of warranty, uh, you stop existing for them. So since my pedals are almost two years old, I decided that the best way was to build my own set of pedal, much stronger and much du durable than this cheap pedal set. But before starting to build anything, let's just dis disassemble those pedals and see what hardware that I will need to build my home pedals. So let's start by re removing the pedals. Like you can see, removing the pedal is very simple. It's just a matter of pushing the center pin out and everything will fall apart the spring will get loose and the pedal will just fall on the side and you will have everything open so this is the first time i saw that my spring was broken and why the throttle my throttle pedal was so loose and it's pretty much undrivable with no traction control the good point in having a pedal set uh, that cheap is it is pretty easy to build one uh, from scratch you just need two uh, 25k potential meter with uh, a, a rg12 6p6c connectors with the tab the lock tab uh, offset and a five feet long uh, piece of cat5 uh, cable uh, it's not the category of cable they are using but a cat5 would do just fine or a ethernet cable for those who don't know what is a category category 5 cable but since i needed my pedal straight away and i don't have the time to wait for new material to get uh, delivered at home i just uh, rebuild I just built my new pedal set with the potential meter and the hardware uh, that comes from the original tra uh, Trustmaster pedal set. And when my stuff will uh, be here, I will just replace everything with brand new potential meter, cable, connectors, etc. So the pedals. I have started originally by building some pedals uh, with metal with the welder but uh, that was very ugly so I decided to restart over and do it uh, from wood. So uh, I started by sticking two pieces of plywood together and then uh, I designed this, the, the shape of my pedal on it and I cut it with the saw. Um, in this build, I use a bandsaw and some stuff that you might not have at home, but everything can be done with uh, a jigsaw or another kind of saw that you can buy for more cheaper than a bandsaw. I use the plywood very rough because I didn't mind uh, sanding and working on the wood, but for those who don't have the tools or the time, to work on wood like I did, you can buy a plywood uh, a little more expensive, but with a finish way more even than what I used. After sanding, you can really see the difference uh, on the picture before and after. So uh, with a little time and some elbow grease, you can achieve a very smooth surface just with sanding. 
to hold the pedal in place and to make sure there's no loose that can uh, mess with the precision of the potential meter, I use a piece of 3 of 8 rod, threaded rod, and some 3 of 8, 3 8 of inch tubing as well. I made sure that the rod fit pretty tight in the tube, but not tight enough so that the rod can't move. Uh, so this way there will be no loose at all in the middle and they will still move freely. To hold the tube in place I used some eye bolt, uh, one quarter of inch high bolt uh, which I welded on the tube but uh, my original plan uh, was to use some U-bolts, some uh, quarter of inch U-bolt. Uh, two on each side of the pedal so it hold it firm and tight and you can do that and it will work perfectly uh, the only difference is by using the high bolt i have only one bolt that's sticking out on the other side of the platform instead of four each side i got only one each side it's the only difference but uh, one way or the other, it will be very tight and very solid. Now that the rough sanding part is over, I applied 10 coat of automotive primer to fill uh, as more gap as possible before starting the second step of sanding with, with a smaller grid, a 150 grid, uh, to even the surface uh, before the final primer and painting. As you can see, it is still pretty rough, but uh, before applying the final coats of different painting and primer, uh, I did all the whole, the testing with the springs and everything before applying the last coat of primer and paint. I've used a two feet square to, found, to find the starting point of my pedal and to establish a two inches course to my pedals so it's not too far for the handle to push the pedal right to the hand and it gives enough room to have a good precision uh, to play with the throttle and the pedal when driving compared to the original Thrustmaster pedals. I've cut and bolt some 90 degrees bracket to use as a stopper for my pedals so when I push very hard on the throttle or the brake uh, nothing will bend or break those brackets are re very solid and with a good uh, set of pliers you can bend it a little to adjust uh, the final uh, couple of millimeter in the course of your pedal so you have the, the accuracy you want you have the, the rigidity or the solid you need and it's not expensive it's about uh, one dollar each I've drilled the hole for the rod two and a half inch from the bottom of the pedal. So I have a good leverage for the spring tension and the arm of the potentiometer. Uh, but that distance might change depending on what hardware you will use. Again, I use a quarter of inch eye bolt by four inch long uh, to hold the spring so I can use as much tension as I want and this bolt won't break or won't get through the wood at all. So I'm sure I will drive for a long period with those pedals without uh, feeling any loose or any loss of tension in the springs. Now that all the drilling and the sanding is over, it is time to apply the, the last five coat of primer and the paint. Uh, the reason why I use so much primer is to give to the wood a more plastic finish or a metal finish as possible and get rid of the, the, the feel of the wood, uh, the look of the wood. As for the paint, I've used uh, an anti-rust paint uh, and it's called Amber paint it gave a look a little uh, frosty or like uh, 
cast iron or something and I like the look of it so I use that and again I applied a sixth coat of paint on the pedals so it doesn't have uh, so much the look of the wood and I have a, a really good finish and uh, over that I applied three coat of uh, automotive clear so it give a shiny look and it protecting the paint at the same time so by doing all the hardware the mechanic and the control under the platform you have a clean finish and there's no spring the only thing you can see it's the head of the bolts and the nuts that holding the tube and that's all the rest is only pedal and platform the other advantage of having all the other way under the platform is you can uh, change spring or do any uh, maintenance or adjustment you want without worrying about scratching paint and stuff like that since this is an upgrade of a pedal set on a custom built uh, play seat I don't need to build a base or nothing under the pedal but if you don't have a play seat and you want to put that pedal directly on the ground you will need to to build a base to hit to to make like a box so nothing break uh, and the Andre underneath is protected but it's not my case I don't need it so instead I will build a frame to adapt this pedal set to my uh, already built play seat so this is it for now guys I hope you enjoy and I hope it will inspire some of you to do the same or to uh, build their home pedal to save some money and to have more uh, reliable pedal than the Thrustmaster one and uh, to avoid you to buy a 250 bucks upgrade when you buy you can build your home pedal for half of that because this project cost me about 100 bucks um, so that's it and in the next uh, video we will see how to install the control and how to connect everything to the computer so we can adjust the course of the pedal and the potentiometer and all of that so i wish you a good week and see you next time take care guys